Okay, the Eagles never win another flag in your life, but we get a million subs. Or the channel subs peaks at 20, but the Eagles' current premiership window stays open hypothetically for the next 25 years. Oh, you're killing me. This is video trailer shit. <laughs> ah, g'day, g'day. Welcome back to the Truest Football YouTube channel you will find. I am welcoming you back. Daniel Busher, back from Hibernation. It's been a while since he's been on the channel, Busher. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. I've had a few changes in direction, so I'm feeling a lot better after all that, I've got to say. Oh, that's good. That's very nice and vague. So, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be doing one of uh, our favorite topics off the air. We haven't actually done a video on this. We did it a bit in a vlog once, um, but I do also have to give credit uh, to a guy called The Isaac Show who's done an AFL Would You Rally. You should go check that out. I didn't get the video idea from Isaac, but nonetheless, he's done the video already, so I will acknowledge that, and you should go check him out because he's got a lot of talent. Anyway, Bush, how do you feel about we just rattle off a few Would You Rathers, a few player comparisons uh, situations? Yeah, I've got a nice little list here. I've got a few different things coming at you. I'll go first, right? Would you rather recruit Charlie Cameron from Brisbane or Jordan Dugowie from Collingwood? Ooh, I'd probably go Dugowie purely because of playing styles, because we've got like a Michael Walters, that smaller, slighter built forward. Dugowie's, because we don't really have a true key forward, Dugowie's got that bit more size and leading capacity to play, a bit more of leading style. Yeah, Dugowie can has probably got that more midfield potential. Cameron is probably a better actual goal sneak forward, so it's a tough one, but... Yeah, yeah. in terms of pure forward, I'd say Charlie has the chockies, but for Freo needs and structures and stuff, I could see us employing to go with more. I've got a pretty straightforward one. The two Freo young guns, Brayshaw or Chera, which one would you rather? Oh, I was going to do this one for you. If you asked me to recruit them again at 18, I'd probably like to Chera more, but I might go Chera for the Eagles. I think his style is a slick player, uh, good ball use, good decision maker. I think once he becomes a midfielder properly, he will be the better player. Yeah, he adds a bit of class, that's for sure. This one is Hawthorne's Chad Wingard or St. Kilda's Bradley Hill. Who would you rather? Ooh. Well, but con considering Brad Wing uh, Brad Hill was 50% of our wings last year, and the other 50% also left, I'd take Brad Hill back any day of the week, I think. Yeah. And my wing guard's probably a bit more dynamic and give you a bit more goal, a bit more offensive firepower than Brad Hill. But Brad Hill's great as that link up guy as well. I agree. I, I would probably I think Brad Hill is a more complete player, so I'd rather recruit him, but Wingard would pretty be a pretty nice addition for West Coast as well. Gary Ablett Jr. or Senior? Hmm. Ooh. Uh, I reckon Ablett is probably uh, sorry, Ablett. I was gonna say <laughs> I think uh, Ablett Jr. probably reached greater heights in terms of being like the undisputed best player in the comp at, at his peak. Whereas Ablett, I think Ablett Senior senior rather. Don't know if he was ever held in such regard, but now I think about it, you'd, you'd love a six foot three or six foot four powerful key forward who can run through the guts as well. I'll probably say Junior, but, but that's biased because I've I've seen him more. Yeah, Junior was our childhood, seeing him do his thing. So yeah, definitely, I'd probably go Junior myself. All right, another one, a battle of the third tall forwards. We got Maya Check versus from Collingwood again versus Finn Layson. Ooh. I'm a big fan of both, I've got to say, because I've got to say, Maya Cech always seems to do well against the Dockers so far in his early career. Every time he comes up against us, he looks great. I'd probably go Maya Cech because he's probably had to do more for that Collingwood team than Finlayson's had to do for GWS, considering Jeremy Cameron's there, whereas there's not really a clear number one key forward in Collingwood. Yeah, I think that's a good summary. I think Finlayson's probably been the more productive on paper without looking at the stats. He's probably kicked more goals, but I think Maya Cech... Uh, adds value around the ground a bit more. Don't forget Cam McCarthy kicked 40 for GWS in that similar off <laughs> one year, and now that he's a free man, he hasn't been able to replicate that. Yeah, fair point, fair point. You're right. I, th I think Majacek is the more gifted player, so that's probably who I would say. So you're going into the grand final, right? Yeah. Would you rather a player pull a Dennis Rodman the night or two before the game going flying off and appearing on a wrestling show and smacking the guy with a chair? <laughs> or would you rather that player in the grand final pull an Alistair Lynch but know that he's planning on playing next year? So would you rather a guy blow off training or whatever to do wrestling or take someone out in the grand final and miss the next season sort of thing? Yeah, okay. So yeah, so he is playing, but he will get suspended, the player. Yeah, and he's, for and, 20 games or whatever Lynch got suspended for. Yeah, and in the first... Si something ludicrous. First situation, um, there's a threat of injury. Is that right? Well, no, he blows off like before the grand final, before the game's even been played. He blows off training, blows off like, yeah. the stuff he got to do before the game to appear on a wrestling show with Hulk Hogan and carry on. But does he come back? Yeah, he comes back and he actually does really well. But yeah, okay, but 
But can he get injured in this hypothetical? Yeah, let's say he can. Okay. Uh, no, I'd probably rather throw everything at the grand final and have someone get rubbed out for half a season. But that's a tough one. Yeah, it is a tough one. But, uh, you know, you, you'd be pissed if a Jack Darling went and did his knee in, in the ring. Because the thing is with Rodman as well, he's just an absolute wild character. So <laughs> crazy dude. True. All the stories and shit about him that have come out in this doco are more wild than the MJ ones, I reckon. Michael Jackson. All right, the next one is two midfielders, steel side bottom versus Trent Cotchen. I'm a big steel fan and like Cochin's like a guy you respect but you're not like I'm not necessarily a fan like a guy out of the way to watch him sort of thing but Steel Sidebottom's a guy I really like so with that bias I'd say Steel Sidebottom but probably on resume and talent stuff it's hard to go past Koch I think Cochin's one of those players that the uh, his value is probably not reflected in stats because his stats are very underwhelming he does have a brand low to his name although Steel Sidebottom was pretty close uh, like he came second in 2018 as well. I don't know. This is a tough one for me. I, I'd almost go side bottom. Yeah, if the side bottom won that brown low. I was a very happy man. I was paying like 84 bucks or something. I had a few bucks on him. I remember that. Yeah. The question is, if I was doing uh, starting a new club, I'd probably go Cochin. If I was if I was an established team, I go side bottom. Okay, I've got one for you. Would you rather commentate an Eagles grand final or crack 100k subs? Oh. No, 100k subs, easy. I'd probably hate to comment out an Eagles grand final. Yeah, 50-50 shot of a bag of disaster. You're a piece of dog shit, darling. All right, two defenders. Tom Stewart versus Nick Haynes. Ooh. Who would you rather have on your Tom team? Tom Stewart's probably the safer bet. Yeah. Tom Stewart's probably the safer bet, but for Freo specifically, I'd say Haynes, because I think he could complement a healthy Pierce and Hamling better as that third sort of tall. He'd been upgraded on demand or Logue, even though Logue does have upside. Yeah, I'd probably go Stewart just for the runs on the board, but Haynes could emerge as a better player in the future. Would you rather make an Appearance on the True Geordie podcast or the Eagles win a flag? Oh, that's a fucking good one, man. Well played. That's <laughs> well played. I like two of my biggest ambitions. I will probably go the boring answer and say another Eagles flag. It is like my number one, but uh, the True Geordie podcast will be very hard to pass up. Situational. Nat Fife joins Hawthorne via free agency or... Andrew Gaff kicks the winning goal in the 2020 Grand Final. I'd take Gaff kicking the goal. Really? Yeah. Wow. Because that's like because Eagles are probably going to be in the grandy anyway, and <laughs> if that's what they got to do to win, that's him making up for missing the last one. Yeah. I just thought he'd be the one you hate, and uh, I suppose 2018's kind of like taken the pain out of another one. You know, you'd, you've already seen it. Yeah. The thing is, he he got his punishment. He missed out on a flag. He got his punishment. Yeah. In terms of that, I'm still not a fan of him, but he got his punishment. I'd say at this point. Yeah. Well said. All right, your shot. This one's relatively straightforward as well. A hundred million dollars or a hundred million subs. Hmm. I'd probably go for the dollars. Because that would allow me to sort of chill and take the pressure off my YouTube channel and just do it for the pleasure and not worry about building. It gives it you the resources money. to do the channel however you want exactly. as well. Like with a hundred million bucks, you could get like your four K camera, your buddy, yeah. whatever the hell you want, and make six shit. Yeah, and never have to work a day other than that. Okay, who would you rather self isolate with, BT or Kane Corns? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's a really good one, mate. Uh, oh, <laughs> I hate them both. I reckon BT can laugh at himself a bit more. I'd probably have slightly better bands with him. We'd have a very interesting podcast in self-isolation together. <laughs> that's a good one, though. Yeah, probably BT marginally. Who would you rather accept a coaching job at? in 2021 Adelaide Crows or Melbourne head coaching or just a yeah head coach like you have to start your career here so you have those considerations of like what will this do for my career ooh that's tough because Melbourne's it got tough, the hey. paces there to work with but if you stuff up with them you'd probably be more likely red listed whereas Adelaide yeah. you've got less to lose but if you succeed, it can't yeah. work. I'll take, the, I'll, go, I'll take Adelaide. Yeah, I like that one as well. They're better resourced. I think Melbourne's got the better list, more talent. I think Adelaide's list needs talent desperately. But they're better resourced, a successful club. Probably play it safe and go at Adelaide, I reckon. Uh, okay, the Eagles never win another flag in your life, but we get a million subs. Or the channel subs peaks at 20, but the Eagles' current premiership window stays open hypothetically for the next 25 years. Oh, you're killing me. This is video trailer shit. <laughs> um, fuck. I I hate to say it, but I think my Eagles have to come first. I'll probably go with uh, the... I couldn't I couldn't not have another flag in my lifetime. So you'd keep that, the, that hurts. You'd probably get a few with the current premiership window open for 25 years, don't forget. So it'd likely result in more than one flag, this yeah. window you guys have. It's like a heroin rush for me uh, when we win flags. So, um, yeah, no, I'm going to be chasing it for the rest of my life. Chase that dragon. Who would you rather take over as coach of your club, Nathan Buckley or Leon Cameron? 
Probably Leon, I think. GWS only came to win a final every year. That mm. statistic's still going, I think. For, that's been going for a few years now. They've yep. kept that going. So he's got that steady consistency of performance, even though he's had the more comfortable list than Buckley probably has. But I'd probably take Leon, I think. Yeah, fair enough. I would probably go Buckley because he's proven himself to be a list builder. He's taken that club from being shit. Even if he was partly the reason it went to shit, I think, at the start. Or there was injuries as well. I don't really know what I'm talking about. But the fact that he at least can build the list, whereas I guess Cameron did, but he was given a lot more resources to do so. So, but yeah. It's a, and I'm a probably a little biased with that as well. I feel like Longmuir helped out Buckley a lot when he landed there as an assistant. You're 100% right. That is total bias. Since we've both got the double degrees, I'm going to go with, would you rather cop a career in law or a career in your commerce slash marketing? Wow, this really is left field. Absolutely nothing to do with footy, but I like it. I... I, uh, so I, yeah, I did marketing and law. I, I I like marketing more. Yeah, it'd be more like fun at work for sure. I think marketing sort of, especially if you're marketing something that you're interested in. Like if you got to do like yep. marketing for footy or something, you'd be like coming up with passionate, interested ideas sort of thing. Yeah, well, I do a degree of marketing with this um, YouTube channel because that's it's content marketing. What about you? Because you did taxation, right? And law. I'd probably go law, I guess, because tax can be a bit dry. It's sort of dry law, basically. So I'll take law where it might be less dry. Love me some dry law. Dry and hard. Sounds, sounds like the name of your autobiography. <laughs> dry and hard and the law all right um <laughs> next up we have two key forwards two good well greats of the modern year i reckon josh kennedy from west coast or jack rewalt who would you rather jk yeah really because i actually i always i've been a staunch jk man but jack rewalt's record stacks up very very well against him it does but jk for me the health like if he was had the health that Jack Raywell had, he'd have way more Coleman's. He'd probably be closer to Buddy than Jack in terms of that K forward of the century conversation. Yeah, that's that's a high praise. I think Jack uh, Josh has more goals per game. And you're right, he's played like 60 less games. But uh, in talent, I actually think the gap's pretty close. Maybe Josh Kennedy's more talented slightly, but Jack Rewald's and like, an, I reckon they're pretty... Josh Kennedy's more talented, but around the field, Jack Rewald's more talented than yeah. Josh Kennedy around the field. It's a Very true. Taking marks up the field, that sort of stuff, Kennedy, uh, Rewald comfortably has in there. For me, it's a genuine 50-50. I, I love both players, to be honest. The Eagles still win the 2006 flag, but things proceed as normal. Or that game's a repeat of 2005, but Ben Cousins doesn't wander down the wrong path and Juddy stays. Oh, shit. So, this throws in... Wait, does, do I miles of caring for Ben Cousins' like, health now? Well, basically, Ben Cousins doesn't go off the rails in this scenario. You have another heartbreaker in 06, but Ben Cousins doesn't go off the rails and Juddy stays. So you've got Prime Ben, Prime Judd, or wherever they were at at that stage. Uh, in a very selfish way... Okay, let's say I'm not responsible for Ben Cousins' life going off the rails. So, like, let's say his life goes off the rails later. But in terms of just a football sense, I'd selfishly probably just keep 06 because it was, just, it was an amazing win. And even if we'd won, say, 07 and 08, which is no guarantee if we won both of them it may have felt as good as 06 but it might not have because 06 was just such a dramatic way to win in my opinion one of the best grand finals ever so uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep what uh, what happened. Next up, Frio win the Premiership, but you can never rewatch the game. You can only rewatch the 2018 Grand Final and no other Grand Final. Or Frio never win a flag. I'll take the first option because 2018 was a cracking game to watch. As much as yeah. it annoyed me because both sides of my bets ended up getting screwed, <laughs> and the team I wasn't wanting to win one, but it was yeah. a bloody cracking of a game. It was that good of a game. I wasn't that mad afterwards, to be honest. And Frio would have a flag in this case. I've got. A Perth Demons and Liverpool free peak, or the Eagles win three out of ten in the next ten years, sort of thing. Uh great question because it really shows where my priorities are at. I would still go the Eagles, definitely. And my love so for them. Three non consecutive, so three out of ten. Yes. Yeah. No, that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, I would take that over Liverpool and Perth. As much as I like those clubs. Uh, equals all the way for me. I'd probably be similar with my basketball allegiances. Would you accept West Coast winning the next nine premierships if it meant Frio was guaranteed the 10th? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I think for the first time today I've stumped you. You've really got me on this one because those <laughs> nine years would fucking suck. <laughs> yeah, and also the like nine years of my life, but the tenth year would be fucking glorious. Yeah, and that's the thing your mind, your memory gets wiped, so you don't remember you've made this deal. So it's not like you know, oh, it's all right, I can stick through it for nine years. But that's also good because then when the flag comes, you'll be even more happy. So like, I'd feel better if I knew it was because I'd cut, cut the deal. Really? I'd be like, yeah, I'm putting up with this, so Freya get a flag. That's how but, I'd sort of feel about it. I'd but when you it. won the flag, you'd feel happier if you. It, I, I'd say it would diminish it if you knew you'd cut a deal for it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. That's how I would feel. Anyway. But the deal's 
paying a pretty steep price that you feel like that's the price you got to pay for a premiership. Yeah. Just put up with that fucking shit for nine years. <laughs> so what's the answer? I'm going to say no and back us in to figure it out on our own without cutting the deal. That's probably fair. Yeah, that's probably fair. Phil Davis or Alex Pierce? Both healthy. Oh, like both that. healthy. I'd probably go Alex Pierce. That's a pretty good comparison because I think it's a pretty pretty good talent comparison. But I mean, Phil Davis is healthy. Yeah, they're both more that lockdowny back as well than an intercepty back like a McGovern or whatever. I mean, if you're asking which one I'd draw, like I'd probably go Pierce. But I mean, the injuries make or break it because if there's injuries involved, you'd never pick Pierce. Similar to one you've asked me. All right, so let's say Nat Fife retires and starts his own podcast. Would you rather be a guest on his podcast? Or would you rather he be on the True Footy podcast? I'd rather he be on the True Footy. Nice. Yeah, I thought you might say that. Would you rather Tim English, Rowan Marshall, or Sean Darcy? Yeah, right. There's a lot of hype around Tim English, and maybe justifiably so, but he's uh, he's obviously still very skinny. I think Marshall's the most proven, but that doesn't mean a lot with Rucks. And Sean Darcy's proven as well, but I think Rowan Marshall seems to be the best of the three at the moment. Yeah, I'd lean towards Marshall. I'd probably slightly. just go conservative here and say Marshall. Sean Darcy probably has the highest floor of the three, but the lowest ceiling, whereas English has the highest ceiling, but his floors could be anything. All right, would you rather Fremantle has to merge with the Gold Coast Suns or Freo has to merge with West Coast? With these mergers, whose umbrella do Freo fall under? The club they're going to's umbrella or does Gold Coast get absorbed into Fremantle? Let's say it's a 50-50 split like Fitzroy and Brisbane. So you'd be the Fremantle Eagles or um, the, the Fremantle Suns and you share resources and membership bases and all the assets. I'd probably cop Gold Coast because we'd probably they'd probably be coming here. We'd probably still be a Fremantle based team. Yeah, we'd just get the benefit of players like Raul Anderson. Mate, I'm offering you four premierships. To just take it. <laughs> I've gone twenty bloody years without one. I want to <laughs> earn it, buddy. I'm at the point where it's like I want. I, I just want to cop. It. Dom She just becomes your hero, just like that. Just take it. <laughs> <laughs> mate, who, who didn't say he isn't my hero anyway, mate? Not really. Okay, this one's a bit of a cliche one. We've probably, we ask it a lot probably on the channel. Yep. Bont or Crips? Yeah, so I've used, I've previously been a Bont man, but I think Crips, I think he's better now. And we're getting to that point where we're like, you can only rely so much on potential, if that makes sense. So, I mean, Crips is just, just doing it week in, week out consistently since like season two. It's a tough one. I'd probably just rather recruit Crips. Probably. Yeah, what about you? He's the safer pick. Cribs yeah. is the safer one for sure. Yeah. But you'd need probably more around Cribs than you'd sort of need around Bont, I think, to win. Like, because Bont can sort of do a bit more of everything so you can have a bit less stuff around him. But with Cribs, he's just good at what he does. He'd need the complementary pieces more, sort of thing, I think. Bont's a lot more classy, so he can mix it on the inside and the outside, whereas Cribs is going to be your ball. Yeah. A bit more of an all rounder, yeah. My last one picking aside for grand final day, who would you rather have available to select? Matthew Tabiner. But he's had six months on undetected peptides, so he's in great shape. Or Ben Cousins, but he's had a three-day bender and hasn't slept because he's been on the pip. I'm going Benny Boy. I knew you would still pick Ben Cousins. That's so funny. <laughs> Mate, Ben's, a, Ben's the man. He'd fucking take care of business in that situation. Even if he was still on the bloody gear. He'd... Even at his current age, you pick him over Tabernacle. <laughs> Okay, age is a factor. I nah, I'm, I meant Ben Cousin is peak. Ben Cousin is peak. For this last one, I'm going a bit current versus past for you. Darren Glass or Jeremy McGovern? Oh, Jeremy McGovern, definitely. I think Darren Glass is a beast defender, but McGovern's just Ooh. more well-equipped. He can do a broader broader range of things. Yeah, McGovern is will be better. And he, he is better. Uh, I bet that came through crystal clear, didn't it? All right, guys. Well, that is all our uh, Would You Rathers. Thank you, Busher, for those. Uh, I think you had some bloody rippers there, to be honest. And I'd like to know in the comments uh, what people thought and like give us your answers on some of the ones you found particularly interesting. Give us a few suggestions for the next one as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Bush, I'm sure it won't be long before we are back in the same room doing True Footy Podcast once again. I look forward to it. Take care, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bloody Catch us.